In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of one of the most powerful motion graphics and visual effects tools, Adobe After Effects. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. All right, so I'm going to preface this video by saying I've been a fan of After Effects for about two decades now. I've used it to create countless animated titles and show opens, including the animation you see on all my YouTube videos. You can do all types of animation in After Effects, including animating characters, you can animate in 3D spaces, create motion lighting, and so on. And you can even clean up your footage, removing objects or doing a perfect chroma key. Either way, it's well worth your time to learn After Effects. And if you already work in other Adobe programs, you'll find that it's relatively intuitive. So in this video, I'm going to take you through a simple exercise where you create a basic text animation using keyframes and exporting your movie so you can get your feet wet. So let's do it. Before we open After Effects, let's get organized. First, make a folder on your desktop and call it text animation. And inside that, make another folder and call it zero finals. As mentioned in my other videos, I always put a zero before my finals folder so that it pops to the top when sorting alphabetically. Now let's open After Effects. I'm working in After Effects version 22.5.0, so if yours is older or newer, it might look slightly different. All right, so once After Effects has loaded, click on new project. Just like Adobe Premiere, frame sizes and rates are not project specific in After Effects. You'll be specifying these values in your individual compositions. And before we start working, let's save your project to the folder we just created on your desktop. Call your project Text Animation and navigate to the Text Animation folder on your desktop. Hit Save. First, let's take a look at the panels that are available to you in Adobe After Effects. You have your project window here where you'll find all your media as well as your compositions. There's nothing in here right now because we haven't brought in any media or created any new compositions. Over here is your composition window, which is just like your canvas in Photoshop. Down here is your timeline, just like Premiere. And over here on the right is stuff like your audio meters, preview panel, and some other tabs that we don't really need for this exercise. So I'm gonna have you close them now. So let's close the following tabs by clicking on the three lines in the upper right and selecting close panel. We'll close info, audio, libraries, Tracker, and Content Aware Fill. If you need to access any of these in the future, you can just go up to Window and go down to the item that you need and make sure there's a check mark by it. Okay, so now that we've simplified our layout, let's save this workspace so that when your windows get messy, you can just go up to your saved workspace and your windows will pop back to exactly how you see them now. To save a workspace, go to Window, Workspace, and Save as New Workspace. Name your workspace, your first name, and then hit OK. All right, now you can just go up to Window, Workspace, and scroll down to your name to put your panels right back to where they are now. So first, I'm gonna have you create a new composition. This is like a sequence in Premiere. It's called a composition in After Effects. To do this, go to Composition, New Composition, and give your composition a name. We'll call it Text Animation. Next, we're gonna pick some settings for your composition. Your composition settings should always be determined by where your final animation is gonna end up. So if you're creating graphics for a video that was shot in 4K, your composition settings should be 4K as well, so that you don't have to resize the animation when you bring it into Premiere. In this case, we're gonna pretend that you have a 4K video shot at 24p. So your After Effects composition should be 4K as well with the same frame rate. Adobe has built-in presets in After Effects, just like Premiere. So let's choose the UHD 4K 23976 preset. 
Underneath here, you'll see that the width and the height are now 3840 by 2160, the dimensions of a 4K video frame. And the frame rate is 23976, or 24 frames per second, so we're good to go. The last thing I'd like you to specify is the length of your composition. We're going to create a 15 second animation for this exercise. So by duration, change the seconds fields to 15. Hit OK and now you see your new text animation composition in your project panel. Let's double click it and bring it to the timeline. Now you see it down here in the timeline area, but there are no layers in your composition because we haven't put anything in there. So let's do that. For this exercise, we're going to create a text layer. So go up to the tools here in the upper left and choose T for the text tool. Once it's selected, click in the composition window here on the right, and now you'll see an empty text layer. Then I want you to type your first name. After you type it, you can see your layer is renamed accordingly in your timeline. All right, now I'd like you to pick a different font and color for your name in the character tab on the right. The character tab should be open, but if it's not, you can open it by going to Window and making sure there's a check mark by character. First, make sure your text is highlighted by double clicking on your name in the timeline. And go to the character tab. In the character tab, use the drop down menu in the upper left to select a font of your choice. I'll choose this one. And under that, increase or decrease the font size so that your name takes up roughly a quarter of the screen by dragging your cursor over the number value by size in the character tab. You can also type directly over the number to select a specific font size. Lastly, pick the font color of your choice by clicking on the color selector box in the character tab. All right, now let's move your name to the middle of the frame. Choose the move tool in the upper left here and drag your name to the middle. Just like Premiere, After Effects has a title safe overlay, so let's turn that on so you can make sure you're staying inside of title safety. Title safety is basically a bounding box that you don't want your text to go beyond, because if it does, you won't be able to see it on some TV sets. You should always have the title safe overlay on when you're working with text. So to turn it on, click on this icon on the right here and select title action safe. Now you'll see several borders, the outermost two being your title and action safe for standard TV sets. All right, let's do a simple animation by using keyframes so you can see After Effects animation in action. Keyframing is one of the most basic ways to create movement in After Effects. First, expand your text layer by clicking the arrow to the left of your name. Underneath your layer, you'll see a transform menu. Expand that as well. Here you have a list of different values that you can change for each layer, including size, position, and opacity. In this exercise, we're going to move your name from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen in the span of three seconds. So let's resize your timeline so you can see the entire thing. At the bottom left of your timeline, you'll see two little mountains with a slider in the middle. Move the slider to the smaller mountain so that you can see your whole timeline. At the top of your timeline, you should see 15s or 15 seconds at the very end. And right here is the three second mark. So let's drag your playhead here all the way to the beginning of your composition. We're gonna set our first keyframe here. To set your first keyframe, you have to click the stopwatch by the position value. So let's do that. This is important. Many first timers forget that you have to click the stopwatch to create your first keyframe. Once you do that, After Effects will automatically create a new keyframe for you each time you modify a value in the transform menu or any menu for that matter. Now we're going to go back up to the canvas and use the move tool in the upper left to drag your name all the way off the canvas on the left. Hold shift to drag in a straight line. Then move your playhead in the timeline to the three second mark as indicated here on the top of your timeline. And once you're at the three second mark, move your name all the way off the canvas on the right. You'll see that After Effects has automatically created a new keyframe in your timeline for this new position. Now let's play down your timeline to see your animation. To do this, drag your playhead back to the beginning of your timeline and play down your composition by hitting the space bar. Congrats, you created your first animation. 
All right, before we go, let's quickly show you how to export your video in After Effects. Just like Premiere, you can use Media Encoder to do your exports, which is nice because you can keep working in After Effects while Media Encoder creates your export. But for this exercise, let's just do it within After Effects. To export your final video, you want to first select the area that you want to export. This is like setting your in and your out points in Premiere. Do this by dragging the end of this bar above your timeline here to the 3 second mark. Make sure that you aren't dragging the uppermost bar. That one scales the view of your timeline. The one below it determines your work area. For this export, I want you to only export the 3 seconds of animation, so we'll make our work area the first 3 seconds of the timeline. Hold Shift to have it snap to your last keyframe, then go to Export and Add to Render Queue. Your Render Queue tab should pop up next to your text animation timeline. Now let's pick your settings for your output. For this exercise, let's leave the Render Settings and Output module at Best Settings and High Quality. And the only thing I'm going to have you change is your destination and name of your final movie. Click to the right of the Output 2 and navigate to your Text Animation Zero Finals folder on your desktop. Give it a name. Then hit Render here, and when After Effects chimes, your final animation is ready. All right, you did it. By the way, I'm working on several more After Effects videos where I'll go into more detail on more advanced concepts in After Effects. We really only scratched the surface with this exercise. There's so much more to learn. So if you want to continue learning in After Effects, hit subscribe. All right, let's do that tip. Want to do really fancy After Effects titles, but you only know the basics of the program? I've got a secret. Use existing templates. There are tons of existing fancy After Effects templates available to those who know the basics of the program. All you have to do is download the template of your choice, open it up, change the text and timing, and you've got something amazing. I personally like the ones that Motion Array offers, and they've got new ones every week. So don't feel like you need to start from scratch in After Effects. Learn the basics, then download and customize a template designed by a pro. All right, as always, if you found any of this to be helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.